Greetings everyone, Archimedes here, and welcome back to another Brickfield LEGO video. Today, on our second video into our alternate base design videos, mini-series, we are going to talk about door designs for our fortresses, castles, and explorational bases. The designs will include some very basic designs, some more complex ones, and some designs that can be motorized. First, let's talk about our castle design. As you can see here, I have a basic castle portcullis with a really cool feature. Just by turning a crank in the back here, I can make the castle door open. In my humble opinion, I think that's just sort of cool. So, the fun thing is, it took some very, very simple pieces to build it. So, let's take a look, shall we? Here is the back view of my part colors design. As you can see, it's just a very simple brick and plate built design. I attached via sideways building these rack gear pieces and are, move them up and down by means of these small little eight, eight tooth gears. All you have to do is turn the crank to let the portcullis come down or to bring it back up again. If you do try to use this design in uh, some castle design, I suggest that you put a rack gear on each side and put a gear to move it on each side as well. This will provide for a lot more stability so that the door doesn't crank itself to one side or the other and get jammed. I can only imagine how terrible it would be if your Lego armies in your castle were attacked and the portcullis was jammed halfway to the top. Let's just take a quick look, closer look at the portcullis design. As you can see, there's the rack gears, which I have attached by sideways building pieces here and here. These sideways building pieces are a lot like an Erling brick, but as you can see, they poke out one stud which is flush with a normal brick. If you align the sideways building pieces with four bricks high and a plate in between, you should be able to attach the rack gear on quite easily. Here's another example of a castle door design. This one also can roll up like this, but it is made out of a lot of simpler pieces. This door is built simply out of plates. As you can see, this is the reverse side of the plates. That is the side that will be facing outwards on the door. On the back here, once again, we have worm gear, we have the rack gear assemblies, and we have some smooth plates along the sides. Now, these smooth plates, too wide as you can see, will fit into grooves in the castle wall design. That would be right here and here. And this allows the door to slip in to the wall design, just like this. Should you want to use this design without the gear design to pull it up, you can all you would swap out these smooth plates for a normal plate that would stick into the groove and would allow the door to hold its position. Here is our modern fortress design. Once again, we will be looking at two sub-assemblies. One brick built and one plate built. Now here, as you can see, this door design opens to the sides. You can see it slides open just like the previous design, only this time the doors slide to the side as opposed to up and down. As you can see, there's a rack gear here and here with a gear design which is used to slide open the door. Gearing this design is very similar to the portcullis for the castle, so I won't go into that. Here is a second modern fortress door design. This one using plates. As you can see, the doors will slide open on tracks as before. However, this design is much harder to mechanize, so we're just going to talk about the more aesthetic details for this door. Once again, the doors just slide on tracks just like they had in the previous design that was brick built. The design here is very simple. Just a few plates with these smooth plates running across them to add a nice look. 
and another studded plate on the side here. This plate gives the door some grip in the one by one hole that it can slide into, and this will hold the door in place. Both of these door designs fit into these very simple tracks like this. As you can see, they're just stacks of bricks with a one by one space in between into which the door can slide in. Finally, let's talk about our explorational base. As you can see here, we have another sliding door design. These that slide out like this with that trapezoidal parallelogram shape in the middle. As you can see, this door design is very similar to the design that the plate built design we used for the modern fortress. The only difference is that we I used these angle plates here, which make this kind of cool, more science fiction-y door design. Here is our second brick built door design for our explorational base. As you can see here, we have a door that once again has this kind of sci-fi look to it. As you can see, it opens up like this with that cool angled shape inside. Once again, these door assemblies are very similar to the sliding doors of the modern base. As you can see here, we j I just added some angled bricks, which add the cool, more sci-fi look to it. I also added these bricks sticking out to the side, onto which you could stick the rack gears to make the doors mechanized and have them open up on their own, like the modern fortress design. Today, we talked about ways to design doors for our bases and fortresses in castle, modern, and explorational base designs. As always, these ideas are just intended to be springboards. They don't look that fantastic, but if you put your brain to them and all your building skills, I'm sure that they could turn into something quite beautiful. Once again, a quick reminder. This month, March, has a fifth Sunday, and that means that we'll be doing a special video on that fifth Sunday. Please send me any comments, questions, or suggestions for that video, and I'll try to make it possible. Please rate, comment, or subscribe. If you didn't like the video, well, I still want you to rate and comment, and subscribe to me if you want to. Hey, I would appreciate it. But I want to hear what you think. What would make this channel better, or would make my videos better? Well, ladies and gentlemen, I bid you all farewell. My name is Archimedes36, and I'll see you next Sunday.